Hello, and welcome to part one of our video guide to the 2017 Total Solar Eclipse. I'm Mark Nussbaum, your host and author of the best-selling book, Total Solar Eclipse 2017, your guide to the next U.S. eclipse. It was February 26, 1998, and I found myself standing on the forward deck of a Carnival cruise ship in the Caribbean off the island of Curaçao. That day I was totally unprepared for the wave of emotions upon seeing my first total solar eclipse. It was incredibly beautiful, and I actually cried as the feelings welled up inside. It was like hearing my favorite tenor hit the powerful conclusions of an emotionally charged song. which you may have seen in the past as a partial solar or a lunar eclipse. And on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being boring and 10 being blow me away, the partial and lunar varieties rate a 2 and the total solar eclipse is a clear 10. Now usually totals occur over an ocean or some other hard to reach location, but in 2017 everyone in the U.S. will be able to see this one from their own backyard. But what really makes this a once in a lifetime event is that the center of the shadow or Umbra will make a path across the entire country for the first time in almost 100 years. This means anyone in the U.S. can make a quick, relatively cheap road trip and stand under the umbral shadow to see the spectacular event we call totality. As a side note, this eclipse is also the first time in history that the umbra will fall only on U.S. territory, so it is also being called the first all-American total solar eclipse. The umbra will project an approximately 60 mile wide shadow that will start on the Oregon coast about 9.15 in the morning. Then over about an hour it will sweep a path through Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, South Carolina, and will then exit the U.S. over the Atlantic Ocean. Now remember, you can see this eclipse from anywhere in the U.S., but to see totality you need to be under this narrow umbral shadow. So why should you bother to go see Totality? Well, people that have witnessed Totality usually agree that it is the most profound and moving experience of nature they have ever seen. Now let me explain it this way. For millions of years, humans have evolved seeing the light of the sun continuously during the daytime. When that ever-present source of light suddenly disappears, there is a primal reaction from deep in our bones. Something's not right. But what makes the total eclipse so amazingly beautiful is that for the first time you will see the sun's atmosphere or corona as it appears like the petals of a gigantic cosmic flower reaching out far into the blackness of space. The appearance of the corona is different for every eclipse, but it is always spectacular. Wow. Now overall the eclipse will last about two and a half hours. However, all of the incredible things you will see during totality will occur within about a two to two and a half minute window. Imagine, a wall of darkness approaches at over 1,000 miles per hour, and in the distance you are surrounded by a purple-pink 360-degree sunset. Within seconds you are engulfed in darkness, and the temperature drops 15 degrees. It's nighttime at 10 o'clock in the morning. Birds stop singing, and the stars come out. Next you notice several bright white pearl beads dancing along the edge of the moon as the sun's light passes through the valleys of the lunar mountains. These are called Bailey's beads. Then a huge white ring forms around the entire moon and a single bright point of light appears, making it look like a fully formed diamond engagement ring has been tossed up into space. You will also see jets of pink material shooting out from the sun as they peek out past the edge of the moon. These are loops of hot plasma called solar prominences. So as you can see, a total solar eclipse is nothing like the partial eclipse you may have seen in the past. Seeing totality is the big payoff, and if you live anywhere in the U.S., it will be just a few hours drive from one of the best seats in the house. This concludes part one of our video. In part two, you'll discover my picks for the best places to go, what to bring, and how to view the eclipse safely. Also, for a complete guide to the August event, including maps and timetables, follow the link below to my book, Total Solar Eclipse 2017, your guide to the next U.S. eclipse. It's available on Amazon in paperback 
or in Kindle ebook format. Thanks for listening.